What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and it is finally out. My personal hand-picked top 20 tweaks. These tweaks are amazing. I'm sure you guys will love them. And guys, please, before we get started, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And let's get started. All right, now before I start, the entire tweak list will be down below in the description, as along with any source or repos I need to add. And I call this the perfect Joe Broken iPhone starter pack. All right, now number one is a tweak called Carbon Dark Mode. This is another dark mode tweak, but it's 3.5 times more efficient than other dark mode tweaks, so it's a lot faster. You get more battery life out of your device when using this tweak as opposed to others. It works on folders, 3D touch menus, dock, dark keyboard. So you can see how my widgets over here is dark. My notifications are also dark in Notification Center. My settings is dark. You can enable or disable which apps you want the dark mode to appear in. It's just a fantastic dark mode tweak. Again, this one is called Carbon. The second tweak is called Half haptic keys and basically every time you press a button on your keyboard it vibrates and give you haptic feedback i always wanted feedback on ios and with this tweak it brings it it doesn't even slow down your keyboard at all it's super fast and it feels so nice you gotta have this one haptic keys this third tweak is called color flow and it actually works with carbon too so you can see i had that dark mode on my apple music but this color flow still works so you can see in my music over here if i go ahead and skip music it changes based on the album art cover so so it looks super cool. Let me go ahead and skip through some songs to show you guys how it looks. And wow, I really love this tweak. It's one of my favorite. It changes everything, little toggles, everything. It looks, it looks so nice. And it doesn't slow down your device either. Okay, this third tweak, you guys probably have it. If you don't, what are you doing? It's called Cylinder, okay? You guys probably heard about this a million times. But you can choose custom animations for your home screen. And this is the one I have. It's called Cube Outside. But there's so many others you could choose from. And I love this tweak. This fifth tweak is called Airport. So it's with AirPods. I can choose custom animations I can download from Cydia and they're really easy to install So you right now have the jewel pods one so you can see it looks like a jewel pod There's also the glitch pod so you guys can see it kind of glitches out that looks looks cool, too Let's go and check out the coral one. So let's see what that looks like again I'm gonna open up my case and look at that. It's just so cool I think this one matches the best with my current theme I have going on. So yeah, this is awesome Terrified. This is my favorite tweak for a different volume HUD. So you can see this is what it looks like it looks like this It's like a very small bar and you go turn them up all the way. When you turn up all the way, it does vibrate. And when you turn it all the way down, it does vibrate to let you know that's all the way down. Now, number seven is a tweak called Notch Volume HUD. And you can use it with Aerify if you want, but you guys can see it's the same thing, except let me go and open up my settings actually show you guys it's better. But this is for the iPhone 10 or 10S. You guys can see it actually uses the notch to show your volume. So you can have both enabled at the same time if you want to. That's what I have. But it looks so, so cool. Number eight is a tweak called Better CCXI. And if you go into Swipe Down Control Center, you guys can see it looks so much better. I have this weather widget. It's reorganized. So where all the main controls at the top I got my music right there. Hold on. Why do I still have the U2 album that Apple forced us to have? Apple, I don't want to get it off. How about we put pop style budget? Okay, that looks a lot better. All right, but you got a weather and everything is just reorganized. You can do so much more with this tweak. I just haven't done that much and look how cool it looks. Number nine is a tweak called Floating Dock Plus. There it is. It shows kind of like recent apps right there too. It's a great looking dock and also you can access it by kind of swiping up from the right over here and bring up inside apps so we can go ahead and switch between them easily so I can go back to music right here and it's just so cool and of course how could you live with Iconator 2 you can adjust how many rows you have so you can see everything changed in real time in our home screen so I like to keep mine at around six I think and columns too so I like to keep those around five and you can also change the icon size you can change them in folders too and everything it's a great tweak I love this one a lot again it's called Iconator 2 number 11 is a tweak called Launchtron basically swipe over on an app like this when you're in an app it doesn't work on the home screen because you got to swipe pages but you got to choose what apps you have available over here so i have the music i have don't know what that is <laughs> i think i just put some random app i got the chevrolet app and my notes so if we go tap on music again it just opens up music but hold on actually let me just go and do a different one i already had that open let's go tap on the chevrolet app and you guys can see it opens right up it's like quick multitasking again this one is really cool you can add as many icons as you want i think well not probably as many you want but i haven't tested that out but it's so cool. I love this tweak. You swipe over from the right on an app and then you get this little ring of apps they can open up. This next tweak is called Local IAP Store. Basically, free in-app purchases for many non-server based games. So like Subway Surfers. You can see I have 1.1 million coins and 250 keys. Basically how this works is you tap on shop. Once you have the tweak installed, you got to do it enable in the settings first. But let's go down. Let's say I want to get some more keys. So again, take a look how many keys I have. 250. I go and tap on this act like I'm buying it, but I'm not going to buy it. All right. I'm going to tap on cancel. Do not hit install. Hit cancel. Okay, guys, 
hit cancel. Once you do that, it'll start contacting the app store. It's not actually. And there you go. Without charging me, it actually went ahead and got the keys. So that is so cool. Again, this only works with non-server based games. This guy, again, is called local IAP store. The 13th tweak is called Magma Pro. So you guys can see, I have these icons, like color. I can also change the color of my brightness and volume and all these other toggles if I want to. And control center, I can change all the colors. And it's so cool. I kind of just experiment with it. And you guys can see, that looks awesome. Again, this tweak is called Magma Pro. Number 14 is a tweak called Nude Key. So you could add a gradient to your keyboard. So right now I have pink and red. Uh, this looks really nice. You can change it to whatever you want, even add multiple colors if you want to. And just looks super cool. And it works great with haptic keys too. So I still get that vibration. I really love this tweak, Nude Keys. Number 15 is Power Module. So you guys can see if I scroll down, I do have this module right here that allows me to respring and just power off my device, do so much more. I also have these respring toggles right there too if I want to use that. But once you have this tweak installed, you do have to go to the Control Center settings, the actual Control Center settings, and enable it from there. Just add it, just hit that plus button. And there you go. It's really cool tweak. Must have if you're using a jailbreak. Oh, and by the way, this tweak right here, this is Carbon. Again, you just enable this through Control Center as well. And yeah, so you can enable dark modes like that. The 16th tweak is called Small Siri. I can see Siri is now small, so I could ask it something. What's the weather? Okay, here's the weather for today. And if I want to see everything, I can just go and swipe down on it and it'll still bring it up just like that. So pretty cool. I like Small Siri. I can still do whatever I want on my device while Siri is active. Number 17 is a tweak called Snowboard and number 18 is a tweak called Anemone. Now I mentioned both because they both do the same thing and the theme I have installed over here is called Mark. M-A-R-Q-U-E. So if I go and swipe to my home screen, I can see that all the icons are themed out. They look so much better than these stock icons. I love this theme. And so yeah, you can do that with Anemone or Snowboard. And again, this theme is called Mark. This next tweak is called Shuffle. Basically, it makes your settings a lot more organized. So you guys can see I have a tweak section right here up at the top. I just go tap on there. All my tweaks are there. I go back, I tap on apps. All my apps are there. And again, I have the same thing for system apps. So over here, the stock applications. Let's go back to tweaks, shuffle, and look at this. You could do so much more to organize and make your settings app look a lot better. Again, this tweak is called shuffle. And number 20 is a tweak called swipe selection. So basically, if you're going to type anything, I don't really like using 3D touch. So I could just swipe like this on my keyboard. It just works so much more better, more better. Okay, grammar. But you guys can see how well it works. And also, if you go from the delete key, and then swipe, you can see it selects all the text, and I can do the same if I go ahead and go from the like caps lock key, so, or the caps key, and you can see it selects that too and highlights it. Swipe selection is just so much better. Was that tweak number 20? Okay, what the heck, I'll give you guys some bonus tweaks because I just really wanna share these with you guys, they're amazing, there's so many tweaks. All right, so this one is called battery percent X, so you can see on my iPhone 10, it shows a battery percent right there, so I don't have to swipe down every time to see the battery percent, and also you can double tap to put it in a low power mode, and double Double tap again to X low power mode. So it's a great tweak. Again, battery percent X. All right, another bonus tweak. How about that? So I'm gonna go into my multitasker. This tweak is called Kill X. So basically what this does is you guys see I have all these apps open. It would be a pain to close out all these one by one. I just gonna swipe down and there you go. All the apps are now closed. Okay, what the heck, another bonus tweak. This one is called Spot of Life. So you guys can see I have Spotify downloaded from the app. So I'm gonna go and open it up from here. And basically what this tweak does is give you unlimited skips. You can play any song that you want. You can go back songs and stuff like that. It's basically Spotify plus plus for a jailbreak. And now you're thinking, why would I want this when I have Spotify plus plus from Tweakbox? Well, this one is never getting revoked. You'll always have it. This is the stock Spotify application that is modded with this tweak. So that is amazing. Again, you can play any song that you want. You go back song, you can skip as many songs as you want. And if you want Spotify for free, this is how to do it without any revokes. Oh, and I almost forgot, how can I let you guys go without Zen HTML? You guys can see the little animation I have going on in the background. It also shows up on my lock screen over here. You guys can see that. It looks better in person than it does on camera. But let me quickly show you guys how to set it up. So when you have it, open up Zen HTML in the settings app and head over to lock screen or home screen, whichever you want. And then over here, tap on background widgets. And then all you want to do is tap on add widget over here and there's two pre-installed so there's that particles one that i have right here which is so so cool all you guys do is tap on the bottom right over here there's a button and it'll set it there we go now i got two of them i'm gonna delete one but let's go back over here and there's also this one right here so 
This is so cool too. So I can have like a moving wallpaper. Watch this guys. This is insane. So now I have a moving wallpaper too. So I like the other one more personally. Again, this tweak is called Zen HTML. So, so cool. Okay, what the heck? One more bonus tweak, but that's about it for today, guys. And this is bar emojis. So like I see on my iPhone 10, I got my emojis right here. I can actually go and swipe through them. It's kind of hard to swipe through them, but you can still do it. And if I go and tap them, I can just do access to my emojis so much easier. So I have them right there. I can just go and type, hit emoji. And it shows their most recent emojis too, so that's very helpful. Again, this one is called Bar Emoji. All right, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am out of breath, but in my opinion, these are the perfect tweaks to start out with. Again, please hit that like button. Also, be sure to get subscribed for tons more content. This is the Hackspot. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.